What's up YouTube? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Robert Foster, um, wide receiver. The Miami Dolphins have just picked him up. Um, I don't know what his contract is, but I know with Washington, he had signed like a one year, less than a million dollar, uh, less than a million dollar contract. Um, so I suspect that'll be probably pretty similar. It looks like he only ended up playing four games this year. Um, he had two catches, 37 yards. Wow. That really isn't much at all. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, is that right? I don't know. But, I guess so. Okay. Well, we'll get into the film. Um, let me know what happened. Because he's coming in late in the season. Could he, could he just not get on the field? Was he hurt or, or what? I don't know. Let me know, guys, if y'all if y'all know what's going on there. He's number nineteen with uh, Washington, though. Is this him down here? Yeah. Not much separation there. Not much of a head fake. Um, didn't really do too much to get off of him to create space. No real hard fake inside. Um, all right, so you're over here. All right, a little crossing route. They're giving you plenty of space. He really didn't have to do anything crazy here. It's a pretty easy play for him. Uh, looks like he can get a little bit of yak for you. I'll be able to really get my opinion on him when we see exactly what his contract's looking like. Another crossing route. Again, a lot of space, so this is a pretty easy one for him. Uh, not really having to do a whole lot on that play. Um, looks like that's him in the slot. Incorrect. He's down here. I just seen the nine, but he's right here. So he does have some speed to him. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say he's a burner, though. Um, I would like him to make a little bit of a harder sell that he's going to the outside. Like, he gives, like, a little step. But I don't think this corner had any thought that he was actually going outside. I think that's Richard Sherman. Yeah. Looks like Richard Sherman knew exactly where he was going. And the fact that he can't outrun Richard Sherman at his age kind of just tells you that he's not the most athletic guy in the world. And he's also not that big either. Um, I think he's like less than 200 pounds. So that's a thing. Oh, they got him playing special teams. I think he's right here. Yeah. He's out of bounds. Yeah. All right, now we're with Buffalo. I think he was number 15, was it? No, he's still number 19. Okay. So they're going to give him a little jet sweep. Okay. Get him in motion a little bit. I'm not mad at that. Does look like he, like I said, he does have some speed to him, but I wouldn't necessarily call him a burner. The fact that he couldn't just burn past Richard Sherman really show, shows you that. Um, I think that's him up here, maybe. Um... Barkley at quarterback. All right, so he's number 16 now. Um, I want to actually go back to that play. Yeah, Robert Foster made the tackle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
So yeah, he's down at the bottom of the screen. Good job going to making the tackle, seeing what was going on. It's a heads-up football play right there. I thought he changed numbers going to um, Washington. I thought it was 15, but it's 16. What the hell? I need to see the other angle. Slow that down. Yeah, he's not even looking for the ball. Dude, that is so catchable. Like, it was kind of low, but it looked like it was, like, around his knee. He wasn't even looking for the ball. He looked back, like, way too late. Ugh, that's a shame. Yeah, I'm not I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. Top of the screen. Uh not doesn't look like he has elite body control, but th that also wasn't a great throw to be fair. Yeah, man, he just doesn't really impress me. I mean, of course I know who Robert Foster is. I mean, it's kind of hard not to, but it's been a while since I, like, really looked at him. But if we can get him on a contract similar to what Washington had on him, I think it's okay for depth, I guess. Um, we let Isaiah Ford walk, so I guess he can replace him as far as depth goes. But, yeah, there's, there's really nothing here to be really impressed by, I'm gonna, if I'm being honest with you. Um... Go ahead and do this. Not interested in this punt. Not a fan of that decision from Josh, but so he's trying to get to the outside. I'd like a little bit more of a head fake or a hand fake to further sell the fact that you're going inside. Because you want to get this corner out of position and possibly draw that safety toward the middle a little bit more. But he looked like he was trying to do it, but not really. He just doesn't seem like much of a route runner. So it looks like we have yet another receiver who can't create space. So, yeah, he does have a little bit of speed to him, but again, we have Jakeem Grant for that. <laughs> if, if you want a guy that has speed but can't create space with said speed, we've got that covered already. That was terrible. <laughs> um... What could have? Yeah. That that was on Josh, really. He shouldn't have thrown that, but. I didn't see him there. Oh, okay. Let's uh, take a look at this angle. So Josh is going to scramble out. One thing I am liking right there is that he does seem quarterback friendly. Um, he kind of comes off of his route when Josh starts scrambling. I like that. But got to help out your quarterback. I think that's him at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Um, so, he has a bad habit of letting the defender use the sideline against him. Um, this is why, like, he's going for, like, a fade, right? He's he, he, he's kind of, he's not just running straight. He's not running like that. He's running like that, right? So... 
he should give at least a little bit of a head fake or a hand fake. Do something to make it look like you're going inside on a crossing route, on a post, on a slant. Do something. Um, because when you are so easily read like this, he's just going to use the sideline to eliminate you and make this an impossible throw for Josh. And that almost got picked. Now, the decision by Josh wasn't great, but Robert Foster didn't do fantastic on that play either. Um, I don't really care too much about these end arounds because we have Lynn Bowden, we've got Jakeem Grant that already do this better than him. So, I don't really care about the jet sweeps. I think that's him at the top. Um, good job catching that, but dude, yeah, I'm just not impressed, man. Yeah, I think I've seen enough. Um, like I said, I, I do expect this to be a pretty cheap signing. I mean, if we go and look back, uh, he, he, yeah, so he is 6'2 and about 196. Um, so he's kind of small to not be able to create space like that. But, yeah, I'm, I'm just not impressed. Again, if we can get a contract similar to what Washington had with him, then I'm okay with that. Um, like I said, they had like a one-year deal for less than a million dollars. If we can get a contract similar to that, I'm okay with it. Um, worst case scenario, if he doesn't make the team, we just cut him. Um, but I think this does free up letting go Isaiah Ford. Um, possibly trying to make moves to get Alan Hearns out, out, out of here because I don't want him. I don't want his contract. Um, Albert Wilson, we'll have to kind of see what goes on with that. I mean, he doesn't even have his number anymore because um, Bowden took 15, so I, I, don't, I don't even know. Um, but... Again, I think when we see his contract, it'll, it'll be a better idea. But I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of this signing because I'm just not a fan of having yet another receiver who can't create space. Um, that's all this team has. <laughs> we, we have big, unathletic receivers who can't create space. And then we have speedy, yak guys who don't know how to create space. And also Jakeem Grant who is fast, can't create space, and can't catch. So... Yeah, this really doesn't, like, a, a lot of the signings we did really um, helped when it comes to the draft. Like, uh, when we signed Malcolm Brown, it made us where we didn't have to necessarily sign a running back or draft a running back early like we were gonna. Um, we don't have to draft a nose anymore. You know, these types of things, right? This doesn't change my mind at all about receiver. Um, I'm still interested in double dipping, possibly, depending on how things go as far as the draft board goes. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.